I thought this was actually a really interesting article to share with some of you people, especially in regards to judges, you know, some people who are out in the sticks, think they're a little more free because, you know, we're in the country. It's not like you city folk, you know, it's crazy out there. Now, this is coming from Columbus, Ohio. This is Columbus judge is adding a new term to defendant's probation. Get your shot. This is a Franklin County judge recently began including the, the vax against the C-19 as a condition of defendant's terms of probation. This common plea judge Richard Fry said last week he added the vaccine as a condition on three cases in which uh, roughly 20 sentence he imposed. He said he discussed the matter in open courts with defendants and they attributed their reason for not for neglecting it in terms of their status to procrastination. That was his what he said. He says none raised any philosophical, medical or religious objections. And this is why I say at the very least you have to have a reason for why you live the way you live. Because if you don't, then these people are going to make a decision for you. If you don't show that you got something in between your ears about why you do the things you do, well, then they're going to say, well, we're going to we're going to take over your life for you and we're going to make this decision for you. Now, especially if you're in a position where you come in contact with the state, right? And so maybe you're not in a position to negotiate because now you're in essence in a plea bargain, right? And it goes on to say, it says, it occurred to me that at least some of these folks need to be encouraged not to procrastinate. I think it's a reasonable condition when we're telling people to get employed and be out in the community. Goes on to say, he says he declined to speculate what would happen if the defendant raised a medical, religious, or philosophical exemption, which is interesting. His buddy said that it's a different situation entirely than people who have simply put it off, put it, excuse me, simply put the matter off. So as an example, says a man named Cameron Stringer entered a guilty plea for one charge of improperly handing firearms in a motor vehicle for which he was sentenced to two years of probation, community control, uh, as is known in Ohio. It says Stringer must submit a random drug screening, avoid further legal trouble, and return a firearm in question to its rightful owner, and obtain the jab within 30 days and provide proof of the probation, provide proof to the probation department court documents show. It's clear how widespread this judicial practice is unclear excuse me how widespread this judicial practice is fry said he didn't know if any other judges were doing anything similar a spokesman for the supreme court which oversees lower courts said he didn't know of any judges doing anything similar however he sent a link to a media report about a judge offering to shorten probation for those who took the poke it says Ohio courts, it says, uh, can a spreadsheet, excuse me, it says here, um, Gary Daniels, a lobbyist with the ACLU, expressed concern about the practice Thursday, comparing it to Ohio, comparing it to Ohio judges who have ordered defendants convicted of crimes not to procreate. It says it doesn't have any real relationship to community control. It says at a minimum, it appears to be problematic. Says Fry's practice comes in a period of stagnation in a vax campaign against a disease that has killed supposedly this amount of people. Says despite a skyscraping death and mortality toll, it says five one million dollars. See, that's what I was talking about before, where they were offering money. It's like doesn't matter what it is, they're gonna offer you, you know, we'll give you uh, maybe you want some guns, we'll give you some guns if you want uh you know, season passes to go hunting because it's 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 dependent upon where the community is if you live out in the big city you know they might offer you maybe a car going to raffle off a tesla you know if you live in other areas they might give you you know a scholarship etc and so despite this this is fewer than 48 percent of ohioans have started have have gotten onto the program 
So they're always thinking, how are we going to get people to get on the program? And so if this doesn't work, maybe those who come into the court system and are penalized, maybe we can offer you a little bit of an incentive, right? I.e. your freedom if you just take the poke. He says, I just want them to be safe in the community, according to Fry, he said. And this is the, I, I, I don't doubt that this will be, you will see this more moving forward. I guess I'll have to keep an eye on stuff like this. But this just goes to show you that no matter the scenario, the goal is always the same. Regardless of you people that live out in the countryside and you like that's where the real Americans, the red blooded Americans are, this stuff is happening all over the country. Not only all over the country, but in many countries. Many countries are going this route. Regardless of what, you know, we're not going to talk about the, the numbers. I've posted numerous videos talking about the numbers. But it's important to keep in mind what's going on out there so that if you come across this, that it doesn't hit you by surprise. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Feel free, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate it, and I'll check you out next time.